Hi guys, welcome to FA channel. We're all about celebrating our technology and creativity. Every week we're posting new videos about exciting virtual experience, some learning process and playful experiments. A couple of days ago, I made a video about how I feel the virtual experience that affect impact on my life, which I mentioned about National Museum of Nature and Science in Tokyo. It's opening in VR. So we get permission to go film inside with our VR headset. I did a little tour myself. And the most exciting thing that we mentioned is we realized how this museum played an important role for Animal Crossing layout, like the layout of the museum in Animal Crossing. As I'm a big fan of Animal Crossing game, I just go around and check what is the spot that I think is inspired by this national museum. I did like a little research about the museum. It's actually opened in 1871. So it's like a lot of history. And they got so many like historical net nature exhibitions and a lot of interactive scientific the scientific experience. Of course, when you wear your headset, you can't really go to like interact with the, this science part. But in this episode, especially, we're more talking about the nature part and then evolution of species. Just the fact that you realize one of the most popular games is from this historical building, it's already very fascinating. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started and go explore and see which part is like the inspiration from, which part of the Animal Crossing is actually inspired from this museum. So when I look around, you can see, um, first of all, it's very easy. The navigation is very easy to look around. Like I mentioned before, they use Metaport, so they actually like have the whole floor plan ready. You can scroll around just by clicking on the floor plan. You can go first floor, second floor, third floor, whenever you want to. When I look around after the whole, like, whole experience, I realize the most similar part with Animal Crossing is the atmosphere, the lighting, the setup, the interiors, especially the floor light. Um, when you look around like this one, you can see the floor lights from bottom and then you walk up. And you see the layout of dinosaur. This part is like really fun. I'll show you a little bit here. I remember when I was playing the Animal Crossing, I was like, oh my God, what I really wish there is a real museum like this and I can look around and see the, the real dinosaur um, bones and the fossils. And then, yeah, like in this real nature and science museum, you can see whatever you like you can see all these things that actually out as if you're in a game <laughs> so it's the extended reality i feel like it's the extended digital reality of a real life experience i definitely want to go check out when i'm in japan to the nature science museum i'm sure it's another layer of experience and another part i realized is super similar it's like almost identical is the path you see the lights like lines here this path light is about evolution of species so you see all these animals are for example they have like all these blue lines and you can trace back and go to the direction of this blue line and you will see what species is belong or like grouped and that's the light is for and then when i was in animal crossing play around i was kind of wondering what are these lines for and yeah, that's basically it is. Like you have an answer of it based on this real museum. How fascinating is that? It's not completely identical because of course it's a virtual, it, Animal Crossing is a virtual experience. So you can like, enhance the experience because it's virtual. You can just make it as big as you want, as more fast, as more fancy as you want. But the atmosphere, I can feel 
it's from this nature of science museum is this museum is really big and they have like a uh, japan pavilion and global pavilion so you can choose what you want with the japan pavilion when i go in you can also uh, go to an exhibition of sakura sakura art exhibition that's also very beautiful experience that I had because you see all these circular drawings and some uh, very old books that are showing about the, the history of circular. So if you're interested, please go take a look. I think by if you're a big fan of Animal Crossing, you must want to just at least take a look of this museum and feel this real existing of history and learning the nature science as, as you go to explore please let me know if you find anything else that is similar i love to know it and please uh, join our discord server to show us you can like just tag like show us a photo that you find as interesting i'm really looking forward to see that and yeah that's our little video today i hope this is fun for you guys and give you some like interested journey to explore and something that you can look forward to when you go to japan or when you are playing your game on animal crossing and hope you enjoyed this little journey we'll keep looking forward for our new contents updated every week please subscribe our channel for new updates every week thank you so much for watching guys i'll see you next time